In this lesson, we'll look at four examples of determining the equation of a parabola with the vertex at the origin given the directrix. For the first example, again, we're asked to find the equation for the parabola that has its vertex at the origin and directrix at y equals 11 fourths. Let's first plot the vertex at the origin. And the directrix is a horizontal line y equals 11 fourths. Recall 11 fourths is equal to 2.75, and therefore the directrix is this horizontal line here. Notice that the directrix is 11 fourths units above the vertex, which indicates the focus must be 11 fourths units below the vertex at the point 0 comma negative 11 fourths, which would be this point here. From here, because the focus is always inside the parabola, we know the parabola opens down and looks something like this. Whenever the directrix is parallel to the x-axis and the parabola opens along the y-axis with the vertex at the origin, the equation will always be in the form of x squared equals 4py. Because the parabola opens down and the vertex is 0 comma negative 11 fourths and the vertex is the point 0 comma p, we now know p equals negative 11 fourths. And therefore the equation is x squared equals 4 times negative 11 fourths times y. Simplifying we have x squared equals negative 11 y. We could solve for y, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. Next, again we have the vertex at the origin, but now the directrix is the vertical line x equals 5 thirds. Recall 5 thirds is approximately 1.67 and therefore the directrix is approximately here. Because the directrix is 5 thirds units to the right of the vertex, we know the focus must be 5 thirds units to the left of the vertex on the x-axis, and therefore the focus is the point negative 5 thirds comma zero. From here we know the parabola must open to the left Again, because the focus is always inside the parabola. So because the directrix is parallel to the y-axis and the parabola opens along the x-axis with the vertex at the origin, the equation is in the form of y squared equals 4px. Because the parabola opens along the negative x-axis, p is less than zero, and again, the focus is p comma zero, and therefore p is negative five thirds. This gives us the equation y squared equals four times negative five thirds times x, or y squared equals negative 20 thirds x. Moving to our next example, once again, the vertex is at the origin but now the directrix is the vertical line x equals a negative 19 twelfths. Negative 19 twelfths is approximately negative 1.58, and therefore the directrix would be approximately here. Notice the directrix is 19 twelfths units to the left of the vertex, which indicates the focus must be 19 twelfths units to the right of the vertex, which should be approximately here where the ordered pair would be 19 twelfths comma zero. From here we know that the parabola must open to the right because the focus is always inside the parabola and would look something like this. So because the directrix is parallel to the y-axis and the parabola opens along the x-axis and the vertex is at the origin, the equation must be in the form of y squared equals four px where because the parabola opens along the positive x-axis, p is positive, and again, the focus is p comma zero, indicating p equals 19 twelfths. And therefore, the equation is y squared equals four times 19 twelfths times x, simplifying before multiplying. Notice 12 and four share a common factor of four, one four and four, and three fours and 12. Our simplified equation is y squared equals 19 thirds x. 
And for our last example, again, the vertex is at the origin. And now the directrix is the horizontal line, y equals negative 8 thirds. Negative 8 thirds is approximately negative 2.67. The directrix would be approximately here. Because the directrix is 8 thirds units below the vertex, we know the focus must be 8 thirds units above the vertex, approximately here, where the ordered pair is 0, 8 thirds. And we can see the parabola is going to open up and look something like this. So because the directrix is parallel to the x-axis and the parabola opens along the y-axis, the equation is in the form of x squared equals 4py. Because their parabola opens up, p is positive. The focus is the point 0 comma p, and therefore p is 8 thirds. Our equation is x squared equals 4 times 8 thirds times y. Nothing simplifies here. We have x squared equals 32 thirds y. I hope you found this helpful.